Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick. Um, today we're doing a late night stream. Um, I didn't upload a video today, so I figured I would go ahead and do a little live stream. Um, I don't do these too often. I know I really should do them more often, but you know, I guess life takes over and I don't get to do many streams as I really want to. So um, I'm going to wait a little bit for some people to kind of join in and i'll kind of be interacting with the chat kind of throughout the night as we go so um looks like we have a uh, a couple people already joining us in uh and uh yeah we'll just kind of go from there so tonight we are building lego ninjago collectible minifigures um i've actually had these for quite a while um I, when the, when these first were released i started buying them i think i have all of them except for one there's only one that i and, and who knows i may have misfelt them i may have all of them i may be missing more than one but really i think i i have them all except for one so um let me uh, interact with the chat real quick before we start the actual build. That'll give other people time to kind of jump in and join the, um, I guess, the live stream. I was, I was forgetting what I was doing. So uh, let's see. What's up, Lego Lover 101? Flames Plays. Um, how's it going? I see President Saad. I do not speak Spanish. Uh, someone does. Lego, Lego Lover 101 speaks Spanish. Cookie 2 2052. What's up? Ketchup Master. How's it going? And let's see. Felden. Dom. Dom Crow. Dylan Garcia. What is up? So I appreciate all of you guys jumping in. Um, let me know where you guys are watching from. It's about nine o'clock in the evening where I'm at. So it's kind of late for me. So, um, you know, other people, are, you know, people watch this around the world. So it may be afternoon, it may be early morning. So I'm curious to hear where all of you guys are watching from. President Saad is in Chicago. Ketchup Mustard, Ketchup, Ketchup Master. I said Ketchup Mustard. Ketchup Masters in California. So it's only 7 o'clock where you're at. So a good evening stream to you guys. All right. So collectible minifigures, Lego Ninjago. Curious to know if anyone has any of these yet. Like I said, I think I have them all. I haven't opened them yet. I was saving them for, um, uh, for this type of thing just to do a live stream of them. So... Um, I'm hoping that I have them all. Now, I do have some Ninjago sets that I'm going to be building soon on my channel. This being one of them. That one's going to be built soon. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, I, have a, I have a huge one here. I don't know if I can even show it in the stream. I'll just give you a little glimpse of what it is. There it is. So that one will be coming soon on my channel. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, I will, full disclosure here, I have felt all of these packs. I believe I have all of them except for one. I may have them all. I may be missing more than one, but we'll just kind of go from there. And I believe also there are some extras that I felt that I wanted uh, a few extras of. So we'll kind of go from there. All right, and then here's our little checklist. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and have it ready to go in case we need to look at more of them. All right. So our first one is one of the mini Garmadon figures in this set. The whole double t double torso thing, kind of a 
It's a little weird to me. I mean, obviously it's a fantasy style figure, but still, it's kind of weird. I'll put the camera in the upper right hand because with the minifigure cameras, they actually line up with their eyes, but they have to be in their right hand. And since this is Garmadon, he's got four, four arms, so you gotta use the upper one. And then he's got the map. Alright. So, Ketchup Master says this is flashback Garmadon. There's, there's a lot of Garmadons in the collectible minifigures. So that's our first, first of them. There's the, um, where he's in his pajamas. I forget the official names for them. And then there's the, the actual, like, evil type of Garmadon. Uh, yeah, it's just three of them. Okay. So, I'll kind of leave them sitting right here so we can kind of view them all as we go. So, in my feeling of the bags, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I don't have. Um, when I was feeling them, I got a ton of the... Um, I think this is Nia. A little Kendo Nia. I got a lot of her. And I think even Kai. I remember I, I felt that, that ninja sword a ton. But we'll just kind of... So what I did is I, I when I saw them at the stores, I would buy a bunch of them. And I brought them home and felt them. And if I didn't have any of them, I kept them. And if I... Uh, I didn't want them, I just took them back to the store and exchanged them for more. Alright, so this is our Unikitty lover. That's what I'm going to call her. She's in her little ballerina outfit. She's got the Unikitty on her shirt. I like the, the multiple color hairpiece. And we have the pink teddy bear. Now these collectible minifigures, I th I'm pretty sure it's widely known at this point, but some people may not know. These are actually manufactured in China. And the minifigure uh, hair pieces and even some of the torsos don't have the same clutch power as some of the regular Lego set minifigures. They're actually a lower quality minifigure. It's very subtle, but to me it's obvious, especially with this hair piece. When I'm putting this um, this hair piece on, it doesn't take much effort for this hair piece to pop off. So it is a little disappointing to spend four dollars on a minifigure that is actually a lower quality minifigure than what you would get in an actual Lego set. So I wish they would do something about that. It almost makes me want to not buy collectible minifigures. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, so this is, I believe this is Jay. Even this, I mean, the legs and the torso, they, they don't have nearly the clutch power that what I would consider a good minifigure would have. All right, so this. Is this Jay? So another full disclosure, I haven't seen the Lego Ninjago movie yet. I know it's crazy, right? So he is going to have um, selfie stick. Which consists of this clip and a tile. Okay. 
X Flames for letting me know. I mean, I know the ninja is based on their colors, but this guy, or Jay, is uh, kind of like in civilian clothes, but he's still wearing his blue outfit. It kind of looks like Jay's hair, so that's why I was guessing it was Jay. So there he is with his selfie stick. I have it pointed actually at him. The instructions actually show it like this. I guess that's another way it would look. I mean, if the camera's, if he's using the back camera to take a picture of himself, that's the way it would look. But modern day cell phones, the camera on the front is what's used for the selfies. That's what it would look like. And of course my webcam is gonna struggle to focus. We're just gonna have to deal with that tonight. All right. No duplicates so far. I don't think any of the ones that we see here are any that I wanted duplicates of anyway. Because this one's pretty cool. I may have got a duplicate or two of this one. This is our sushi sushi chef. So he has the bald head with the little bandana going around it. What I like about this guy, he's got the meat cleaver. And then he has the sushi tiles. Now these sushi tiles are not new. We've seen these in Lego friend sets, but I don't know if it's the same print, if it will focus, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, actually I'm gonna grab my bin of tiles. I think I may have a sushi tile in there. can't remember which one it's in. So I have these tiles that are all the prints. These are printed one by one rounds. I don't see a sushi in there. Here's some food. Okay, here's a sushi tile. All right, so the collectible minifigure So these are the sushi tiles that came in the Lego friend sets. And here's the one that's in the collectible minifigure. I really wish this webcam would focus. But either way, they are, there it goes. The ones on the, the right are the Lego friend sushi and the one on the left right here Right here in the middle, that's the collectible minifigure. So they are slightly different sushi prints. So yeah, I was hoping to get a couple, a couple of these guys. I may have duplicates of this just for the tile. So that would be pretty cool. So I also need, need some sort of, I need to build a chef table or something for him. I know they have one in the Ninjago City. They have the whole little sushi sushi restaurant. So I'll move those bins off to the side. All right, next one. All right, so this is our flashback Garmadon. This is a duplicate now. I think this is one that I thought I was getting the the uh, volcano garment on, the one that has the volcano pajamas on, because I felt, I don't know what I felt, but I did not mean to get two of these, but it was too late, because I thought for sure that that was the volcano one, and I actually threw away my receipt for this one, so wasn't able to return this one. But anyway, 
we have an extra map and a camera. The camera piece is actually one of my favorite minifigure accessories. So I guess having an extra camera is not a bad thing, considering it's one of my favorite accessory pieces. Dylan Garcia says DAP for hidden bricks. Not sure what that means. Maybe you're saying DAB? Did you misspell DAB? All right, so what do we have here? We've got a shark guy. So I do believe I got a couple of extra of these villain figures because these are the coolest minifigures I've seen in a while. Look at the printing on that torso, the legs, the arms. Well, one arm. It's just nuts. Even on the side of this leg, it's got insane amount of printing. And then the cool black shark helmet piece with the printing on the side. We have the black fish. The flame shooting out. It's like a lava shark. There's so many cool things going on with this thing. With the the black, his his suit is about to run out of power. The battery's almost dead. You have a black fish, which I don't think we've seen a black fish before. It's so disappointing. The clutch power of these minifigures is is terrible. They're just the quality is not the same. I'm really I'm noticing it more in this series than I have in any other Lego series of collectible minifigures, which is really disappointing. Flames Plays says, I love your videos more than the Brick Show. That's awesome. I've watched some of Brick Show's videos. They, their, their content is a little bit different than mine. But I appreciate the kind words. All right, so we have another one of the villains. This is a uh, squid guy, I guess. So he has the breathing apparatus. A piece, and then our tentacle style headpiece let's get this to focus there we go another cool minifigure so he's got silverfish which we've seen silverfish before and a kind of almost standard issued stud launcher gun. We've gotten so many of these nowadays that my spare parts bin is overflowing with stud launcher guns. I'm gonna put the extra studs behind it. There's a, there's a stud back there. Normally it's not meant to, to hold those. Sometimes it's shown on there, but just so I don't lose them, I'm gonna attach them right there. This guy's got so much going on with him with the fish, the stud launcher gun, the breathing apparatus, the octopus or squid tentacle helmet. Bunch of stuff going on. All right. So, those are duplicates. So, we have two, four, six of the 20 so far. Here is the Kendo Kai. Has the armor piece on. Angry face. These are uh, single printed faces. He's got the option of the 
helmet or you can put the hair piece on them. We're gonna go with hair piece. He's got his little sticks there. Not the greatest minifigure in this series. The armor piece that he's wearing really covers up any any detail. You can see a little bit of detail printing in the legs. But not much. Next. This feels like it has something big in it. Let's see what it is. Okay. So the big piece that I was feeling was the hair piece. This is Coco. And she has a name badge and I like the little chopsticks through the hair to hold the the hair pulled back. You can see she's got the name badge. It says Coco. There's a little handbag as well. Once again, a decent figure. Maybe not my favorite one for this series, but not bad at all. The quality of them is all about the same as far as the, the clutch power is not that great. Okay, so this one's cool. It's another one of the villain figures. This is actually a female figure that has the that little fish that has the little light above the eye. I don't know what those fish are called. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, let me put this thing together first. I'm gonna put the bar in the fish hole and then we've got the little mace type piece hooks onto the hand this one has a little bit more battery charge in it you can see the batteries about three quarters charged and then you can see the cool little fish Face mask slash helmet. Very good. Let me get caught up on the chat real quick. Um, Alden Domkro wants to know what is DAP. Um, Hypercat29 says, Where do you get your Lego sets? Um, I get them from various sources, I've gotten them online through Lego Shop at Home or Amazon, or I'll buy them at some local stores, either the Lego store that's closest to me, um, Walmarts, Targets, any, any other store that kind of carries Lego. There's actually a grocery store chain where I live that carries Lego as well. So um, there's, there's so many places. I basically look for anything that's on sale. If it's on sale, cheaper than what it retail price is for, then I usually buy it at that particular store. So I don't just shop at one store. I shop smartly and uh, try to find, find my Lego on the cheap. That's why I don't get a lot of new sets when they first come out because um, they're usually not on sale when they very first come out. They're full price. So a lot of people want to see me build something like the day that it comes out. And I just can't afford to, to purchase the sets on the, the first day they come out. All right, so here's a duplicate of this same fish minifigure. And I, I just love the, the helmet piece. So that's why I went ahead and got another one. And then also the rubberized little mace piece is cool. So I wanted duplicates of that one. 
So we got two of those. Here we have one of the uh, looks like a lab worker. She's got the big kind of Robin esque style glasses on. She has a Lego City standard issue coffee mug, but you can see she's wearing a Batman shirt underneath her lab coat. As soon as it focuses, you'll be able to see that. Come on, webcam. I know you want to do it. There you go. This is G-I-T Git. Is that her name? She also has a, um, a laptop. I didn't put that in her hand. That saw it said he made it an amazing wor world in Minecraft. If only I had a screen recorder, I could show you my world. I like Minecraft. I play it occasionally. I have a I have a pretty good world that I've been working on. Um, I actually beat the game. I did the whole beat the Ender Dragon and went and found my Elytra wings from the. The Ender ship and visited a few forest mansions and you know the whole Minecraft thing. So pretty cool. I like that game. All right, so this figure has the little vinyl wing pieces. We have to put these over the neck bar. Once they're on there, we can pop the head on and that should hold them in place. Okay. She has a, a frozen drink or smoothie or something in her hand. Focus. Focus. There you go. Come on, do it. There we go. Pretty cool. Decent printing on there. And then these little vinyl cape wing pieces are pretty sturdy right. so this is Laloid with his cool bowl and spoon. President side, saying what kind of ship. So when you beat the Ender Dragon, there's a portal to go even further in the end, and you can uh, find a end end ship. And on the end ship is the Elytra wings. That's what I'm talking about when I say a ship. I, I think you're still talking about Minecraft. All right, so there's Lloyd. What is bowl? Yeah, I'm on. I actually do have a screen sharing software. It's actually what I'm using right now to uh, stream mm. this video you guys may notice a little chip, uh, tip jar at the bottom of the screen there if you guys uh, there's a link in the description below if you guys want to 
leave a tip that would uh, help me out a ton on this channel but um, the uh, screen sharing software that I'm using actually can stream Minecraft or any other game that I have on my computer so maybe one day I'll share my Minecraft world with everyone all right so we have um master Wu. got this little skirt thing it's the official name for it a skirt thing and he also has the uh box of cereal which I hope to get more of those accessories. Those look really cool. All right, looking good, looking good. So we are whittling it down. How many do we have now? We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 of the 20. We're getting close to finishing the set. All right, so here's Garmadon. Wrong torso. There's two torsos. You have to put the right one on first or it doesn't work. There he is. So we get so many Garmadons in the Lego Ninjago movie sets that I'm really not super excited about this one. I know they're they're all slight variants, but come on. I mean like like this one was cool and the volcano Garmadon was cool, but to put one that looks so similar to all of the other ones that you already get in the sets. It's kind of a disappointment. Um, yeah, so it looks like in the chat people are wanting to see the uh, um, see my Minecraft stuff. And if I do it, it would be on my other channel. I wouldn't do it on this channel. Here's another duplicate. It's one of the, it's the volcano shark guy. God, these, these pieces, the quality is so bad. I'm really disappointed with these. I mean, this this helmet is just I just barely touch it and it falls off the legs. Look, I'm just I just barely touch it and it falls off the the base. It's just terrible, terrible quality compared to standard Lego minifigures. All right. Next one. All right, so this is our rock and roll guy. He does have good printing on it. So the printing on these minifigures, in my opinion, is somewhat up to par. The standard Lego minifigures. It's just the mold quality is terrible. Here's our rock and roll guy. Pretty cool minifigure. He does have a double printed face. It's one of the few, it's actually the only one so far that I've seen that has the double printed face. We're gonna leave the, the rock and roll face on. I believe that's a new print for the guitar. The guitar mold is not new. I think that's a new print for it. Right, 
So this one's cool. This is Cole. He has the Ghetto Blaster, the black and gold version of the Ghetto Blaster. He's wearing some sort of vintage concert tee. There it is. It says it sold out world tour from 1985. All right, President Saad, thanks for joining tonight. What's up, Hypercat29? May have said your name already. Uh, let's see who else we have in the chat that I haven't seen yet. Um, Lego Buddy1803, thanks for joining tonight. Um, what do we got here? Uh, Han Solo. The real Han Solo is here tonight. We have um, Lorena Gaming. Thanks for joining. What else we got? There's MLG Gaming. Trying to get Cole on this minifigure stand. All right, very good. So what do we have? We got four left. We have. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So we have sixteen unique figures, so we could complete the set with these four. So long as they're not an extra. So this is another this is a variant of the Lloyd minifigure. Once again, Lloyd comes in a lot of the regular lego ninjago movie set so this is like i said a variant of it is the mask piece that goes it completely covers the head also comes with the optional hair piece if you don't want to put the mask on got his blade and then he has a blueprint for the uh, the dragon. Webcam is struggling tonight to focus, but trust me, it's the blueprints for the um, the mech dragon. Cool. Three more to go, and then we're gonna have to call it a night. It's getting late for some of you kids. Alright, so we got Backpack Zane. Zane has the coolest retro sweater I've ever seen. Alright, so there's Zane. So you notice the sweater has like a uh, Space Invader style 8-bit um, video game sweater. It's got the backpack. Backpack is a variation of the one we saw in a collectible minifigure series that had a backpack guy in it. So, another cool minifigure. Alright, so we need two minifigures to complete the series. I have two bags left. Let's see if we can do it. Nope, we won't do it because this is a duplicate. This is a coal with the ghetto blaster and I know that's why I got two of these guys just for that accessory piece it was worth it to me so I got it alright so we are gonna be one minifigure short maybe two if this one's a duplicate so let's um bust this open See what we have in there. All right. This is the one that I felt a lot when I initially was feeling all the packs. So it's the, uh, I guess the 
Nia that's in training. I don't know if it's called Kendo Nia or what, but she has um, the two wooden ninja swords. They're just the reddish brown ninja swords. That is it. So let me look at the checklist here. So we got we got that one, 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 that one. So just as I thought, I'm missing the volcano Garmadon. It's the Garmadon that has the volcano pajamas on. And I didn't realize that until I got home and I thought I had felt thought I had felt him, but what I was actually feeling was another one of these. So I have two of these. I really didn't want two of these, but uh, I have two of them. Now, the duplicates that I did get, the shark guy, this guy, the coal, are purposely meant. I wanted these as duplicates. These guys for their cool little helmets and coal for the ghetto blaster. So, um, overall, um, the minifigures are good. It's definitely not the best series of collectible minifigures. I think there's some that they missed on. Unfortunately, the quality of these figures is just going downhill really, really quick. There's, I don't know if there's anything that can really be done about it. It's just the way that Lego has chose to manufacture these by sending them to China to get manufactured. So they're just not that great of quality. Um, but as a, as a collector, I guess there's really not much you can do for it. Um, so before we go, let me just go down the chat one more time and then uh, we will call it a night. Don't forget, um, there's a donation tab or a donation link down below if anyone uh, wants to donate. There's no pressure, but um, I will say that any donations that I do get, it will help me uh, bring these uh, videos to you guys because honestly, it's, it's not cheap and uh, it's more than just buying the Lego sets. It's the equipment that I have to use. It's the... Um, software I have to buy to edit the videos. There's, there's so much cost that goes into creating Lego videos. So any small amount would help. So um, Armando Legos, thanks for joining. Uh, Falden, um, Hypercat wants to know, do you donate duplicates? So I typically don't donate any of my Lego. I usually use the duplicate stuff for my mocks. Um, so no, I really don't give away stuff. Um, I have one duplicate sets of Lego in raffles, like when I go to conventions. And if I've already have a duplicate, I usually give those away. But I usually don't. Anything that's open and already in my collection I usually don't give away like for example if you know I have a lot of, of duplicate pieces in here I've got some, some chocolate pieces and some pineapples a lot of cookies and strawberries um, it's a lot of duplicates that I use for stuff so I really don't give them away kind of same with the the minifigures I'll, I'll use them in something so uh, if I do give away something I'll probably either pull something that's unopened um, I've done that in the past where I've had duplicate sets that are unopened or I will um, I'll just buy something as a uh, something I would give away <laughs> all right so that's gonna be it for tonight thanks all that joined me um, I know it was a uh, pop-up stream but um, appreciate everyone that was available to jump on and um, we will see everyone in the next one.